Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a detailed review on this OXO Brew 9 cup coffee maker with stainless steel craft. So I'm very excited about this. I've, I've wanted an OXO coffee maker for a long time and I finally got one. So right off the bat, this thing is SCA certified. Specialty Coffee Association certified. So I really like the looks of this. This is kind of like a glass. It's got one single button here with a knob you can turn. This is the stainless steel carafe. Now this is a nine cup coffee maker. That's a little bit different. So since it's got the carafe, there is no warming plate here. It takes a number four cone filter. There's the brew head and you can take the brew head on and off, which is really nice for cleaning. Here's the brew basket that comes out. Again, there's the cone-shaped filter that goes in there. you got to put a paper filter in there. And then here's where you're going to put the water. It's got these sight markings on the side. This coffee maker just has a really nice appearance to it. So it's got a really nice, this is a double wall stainless steel craft, and it keeps your coffee hot a really long time. It's got this little silicone tube. It's called a mixing tube. So your coffee's gonna come down. It's gonna go into the mixing tube, go to the bottom of the coffee pot to kind of help keep it stirred up. It does pour really well. So you put your mixing tube in and then you just screw this on. And then there's kind of an opening that'll end up at the pouring spout. And then again, this is what pushes up on the bottom of that filter basket to let the coffee out. Okay, so here's what the bottom of it looks like. You can put the cord out the front or out either side or the back. So you have out the left side or the right side. Says it's 120 volts, 60 hertz, 1,400 watts. Let's, okay, let's do dimensions. So left to right, it's about 12 inches. Now front to back, you're about almost seven inches. So with the lid open, it is almost 22 inches tall with that lid for the coffee side open. So unfortunately it will not fit under a standard kitchen cabinet. So it's got a two prong cord. The cord's a little short. It's only 24 inches long. It's not too bad though. Over here, the, the top is vented. You do get some steam out of here. Over here, we can take certain things apart. Like this can come apart. We can put this in the dishwasher and clean it. There's where the water goes. So the filter basket does have this plunger on the bottom. So you got to have the carafe in so it'll push up on the plunger. And when it's pushing up on the plunger, it'll let the coffee come out. So that's called pause brewing. So when you first plug it in, the time is flashing. And so you got to turn this knob. Now you just got to keep turning it till you find your correct time. It does have an AM and a PM light. Once you turn it to the correct time, just press the button one time and then the time will go steady. Now the time is, is kind of bright, but it will go into a dimmer mode after just a little bit. Okay, so let's make a pot of coffee. Let's dump our water in. There's a nice big opening to put the water. You can definitely clearly see how much water you're putting in. Very easy. Okay, so the max line is down from the top a little bit. That's nine cups. And you'll see there's a side here. It says five to nine cups or two to four cups. That's gonna come into play here in just a minute. So again, you're gonna need a number four, eight to 12 cup cone paper filter. And these filters come like this, open this up. And you're just gonna, they gotta come apart. Just kind of push your hand in there, make sure they're hugging the wall like that. And we're gonna put our coffee right there. Okay, so since we're gonna be brewing the full nine cups, it says to put nine, they do give us a scoop. So nine scoops or nine tablespoons of coffee in. But what's nice, this, they also give you, it's 72 grams of coffee, if you go by grams. And then if you only brew four cups, just put four cups in. So four scoops in. So keep in mind, whatever water you put over here, every time you press the brew button, it's going to brew whatever amount of water is here. So if you want a smaller quantity, you got to put the smaller quantity of water in first. You can't select, oh, only brew three cups, only brew seven cups. Okay, so again, this is a really nice scoop. You're just going to get a scoop of coffee, and you're going to dump it right there. I'm going to put nine of these right there. And this is just regular coffee for like a, a drip coffee maker. It's ground at a medium grind. 
Miss Fiona likes to help out with the reviews. Okay, so you can see I put nine tablespoons or nine scoops of coffee into the filter basket with the filter, and I'm just gonna close the lid. It closes nicely, it doesn't really latch or anything, it just kind of sits there. Okay, so we got our water in, we got our coffee in. Now down here is the dial. You gotta first turn the dial, it's gonna say either two to four or five to nine. That's how many cups you're gonna brew. So since I'm doing nine, I want it on the five to nine. If I was gonna do a smaller batch, I'd put it on the two to four. Again, it still brews whatever amount of water you have in here. This is just the brew setting, so turn the knob five to nine, and then you just press the button. The little hot water light comes on right there and your this white light turns steady. And the hot water is gonna be coming up through that center tube over on top of the coffee grounds. So it starts brewing right away. And then it's gonna pause for just a little bit. And then we'll take a look, see if it makes a bloom. Okay, I heard something click. Sounds like it's stopping. There's the bloom that it tries to create on top of the coffee grounds. It's gonna pause for just a little bit. See how nothing's coming up that center tube? And then it's gonna start finishing the brew here. Okay, I heard something click. Okay, now it's starting to brew again. It's a, it's a very quiet coffee maker. Very quiet. This is probably one of the quietest coffee makers I've heard. I will be doing a comparison with the Mocha Master. So this thing has a lot in common, looks like a lot in common with the Mocha Master. Okay, so let's get some temperatures coming of the water coming out of the brew head. Give me, it's just it's a little tricky. 198, 199. That's really, really hot. 200, 201. So we can see, yeah, it's doing a pretty good job with the coffee grounds. So it sounded like it paused again. So yeah, it did pause again, right around the three or four minute mark. This light is still steady. And when it's done brewing, this changes to a freshness timer. It's gonna let you know how long the coffee's been sitting there. Okay, so it paused, that pause was about another 10, 15 seconds. Okay, I'm gonna try to get a temperature of the coffee going into the carafe. That's really, really hot, 191. Yeah, that's really, really warm. This is some of the hottest coffee I've seen made. And I've that carafe will keep this coffee um, really warm for, I had it for two hours and it only went down about three or four degrees. So even though this doesn't have a warming plate, that carafe will keep that coffee warm for several hours. Okay, so it looks like we got another pause. This is the third pause. Let's take a look. So it paused again. Again, that pause was about 15 seconds. And it's starting back up again. You do get some steam coming over here. So it is getting just a little bit noisier, kind of like a gurgling water towards the end. And those vents go all the way right into, you can see the coffee right in there. So we're just about done. It looks like it paused again. Each pause was about the same 15, 20 seconds. And now it looks like it's gonna finish brewing the rest of the water. 
And again, towards the end, it's a little bit louder. You get a little bit more steam coming off the top. Okay, so and immediately the clock changes to zero, zero, zero. That's your freshness timer. That's gonna be a count up timer. And then the little icon changes to a coffee symbol. So at first it was a water symbol, now it's a coffee symbol. And this, this uh, LED light went around, off around the, the switch there. So it's done. It's got a little bit more to, to flow out of the coffee or the filter basket. Over here on the water side, it looks like it did a pretty good job brewing all the water. Okay, so that took about nine minutes. So one cup a minute. It's pretty standard, but it seemed faster, but that's pretty standard for a coffee maker. It brewed nine cups in nine minutes. Okay, so let's see how the craft pours. I really do like the design of this craft. It's kind of grippy right here, but slick here. They, they put a lot of thought process into this. So let's pour us out some coffee. It pours really nice. Let's do a temperature check on that right away. 175, that's about the hottest cup of coffee I've seen. 175, right out of the carafe. Now I didn't pre-warm this mug or anything. It cools down right away, but that's a really hot cup of coffee. So this is Folgers Black Silk. Um, it's, it's a dark roast. It did a really good job brewing it. I tasted this earlier and it tastes really good. It's a very good cup of coffee. So I, I like with these nicer coffee makers, you get more of a, an aroma with the coffee, more of a, what I want to call like a natural coffee taste to it. So, so the coffee does taste better out of this OXO coffee maker. And what's nice about the stainless steel craft, so the machine just shuts off when it's done. The countdown timer is gonna still time up, but there's nothing left on. So there's nothing you gotta remember to turn off. There's no warming plate to, that stays on. Okay, so let's talk cleanup. Let's, here's how the coffee did. It's got this nice handle on the filter basket. It's not gonna drip on you because it's got that plunger. So we can take this to the recycling bin or to throw it away. And so clean up the craft. They say not to put this in the dishwasher, but the lid, the lid and that tube you can put in the dishwasher, but that tube might be kind of hard to put in the dishwasher. So this, I like that this is really easy to clean up. You will get some coffee on here once in a while, but this is really easy to clean up. This is easy. Again, the brew head, you don't have to clean it every time, but it's, it comes off very easy. Just turn it and there's the brew head. I really like being able to clean that like that. And then there's this little tube here you can clean, kind of like a connection tube. It's kind of like, it's, it feels like a really nice silicone. Very well made. Everything I've, about this I feel like is, is very well made. And then we've got the filter basket. Make sure you don't lose that little, that little plunger and that little washer down there. You can put this in the top rack of the dishwasher, but I just rinse mine out and about every third or fourth time I'll put this in the dishwasher. So again, there's the count up timer. I'm not sure how long that stays on. Uh, let's press the button. So if you press the button, it goes away. Um, if you try to do a brew, so let's turn this. I don't have any water in there. It knows there's no water and it, it turns red and it caution lights, so it won't, it won't brew. Okay, so let's say you wanna change the time. You're gonna have to press this button and hold it till you see the 12 or 24 hour. So press the button, just keep holding it. That's the delay brew. Keep holding it more. See how it says 12 hour or 24 hour. So hit 12 hour, hit it again. This is the current time. And again, you've got to turn it. It doesn't do minutes or hours. It does it all at the same time. So you got to go all the way through. Once you figure out the time, press it again. It locks the time. Now, this does have, if you want to wake up in the morning to a, a pot of coffee, this has delay brew or auto brew, press and hold this button. It's going to display that. Then it's going to, okay, see how the little clock came on over here? This is what time do you want to wake up in the morning to a pot of coffee? It's going to start. So let's start it at 6 a.m. in the morning. Press the button again. See how it says 
you're going to do five, two to four, or five to nine. I'm going to do a full pot in the morning, press it again, and see how that little clock is on? And it's flashing red because I don't have water in it. Okay, so I put some, I put some water in the water reservoir. Let's try that again. Press and hold the button. Whoops, I messed up. If you mess up, just let it time out. It'll, it'll time act. Okay, so press the button, hold it. Get past this 5, 9. Okay, see how the clock came on? I want it to start at 6 a.m. in the morning. Press the button again. Yeah, I want to do 5 to 9 or 2 to 4. I want to do 5 to 9 cups. Press it again. Now that clock stayed on and the red light didn't come on. Now this, if when you go to bed, if that clock is on, that's when it will start in the morning. That's how come you know it'll start. It'll automatically start at 6 a.m. in the morning and you'll have your pot of coffee waiting for you. So if you need to cancel it, come up here. If you need to cancel it, just press the button and hold it until the clock goes away. Then it goes back to normal time. It does come with a very nice manual. It comes with a two-year warranty. Okay, so it says that freshness counter will count up to 60 minutes. So if you do have your own grinder, you can adjust the grind size to get some better tasting coffee. If the coffee grounds are too fine, they may produce bitter coffee. Okay, so this does have a descaling light. Remember earlier how this red light was flashing at us when we didn't have water in the tank? If that red light comes on steady, that means descaling. You need to descale it. So it says after 90 cycles, the descale light reminder will come on. I'm going to do a separate video on how to descale it. So I really like the simplicity. I like the looks of it. I wish it fit under a kitchen cabinet. But I do like the left to right look of a coffee maker. You know, this coffee maker is not going to look bad sitting on your counter. So thanks everybody for watching.